The Bradford protein assay begins with the addition of a BSA standard in increasing quantities and dilutions of an unknown sample to a 96-well plate. Deionized water is added to complement the variable volume. The Bradford reagent is then added to all wells except for the blank, which must be water. After five minutes, absorbance is read at 590 nanometers for the detection of protein dye complex and at 450 nanometers for linearization of the graph. The ratio of absorbance values at 590 nanometers and at 450 nanometers is strictly linear with protein quantity. Hi, I'm Safir Tzor from the Department of Biochemistry at Tel Aviv University of Israel. I'm Orna Ernst from the Tzor Lab. Today we will show you a procedure for determining protein concentration using an improved linearized Bradford protocol. We use this procedure in our laboratory to normalize protein quantity in cell results, for example, before we load gels. So let's get started! In the Bradford assay, three forms of the Kumasi Brilliant Blue dye are in acid-base equilibrium at the usual acidic pH of the assay. The red, blue, and green forms have absorbance maxima at 470, 590, and 650 nanometers, respectively. The blue is the form that binds the protein, forming a complex that intensely absorbs light at 594 nanometers. This widely used assay has a large degree of curvature over a broad range of protein concentrations. Therefore, only a narrow range of relatively high protein concentrations is used for the calibration graph, which then better fits linear regression. One source for the nonlinearity is the absorbance at 590 nanometers of the free dye.